Welcome to the AACS Daily News for December 3rd, 2015. Supporters of Capron Park Zoo have a new opportunity to support the zoo's animals this holiday season. For another year, the zoo has set up their giving tree, which provides patrons with a way to donate items to the zoo. We stopped by the zoo to learn more about the program. Hi, I'm Melanie Fernandes, Curator of Education at Capron Park Zoo. And for the month of December here at the zoo, we're going to be featuring our giving tree, which we had last year. It kind of works on a Toys for Tots type of uh, paradigm where you can come in and you'll take an ornament off the tree and it'll have an animal and uh, some of the things that that animal would like to get for Christmas for enrichment items or toys or things like that that will make that animal's life a little better throughout the year. The zoo is open this time of year, so it's a great time of year to come down, maybe take an ornament off the tree and visit everybody. With the exception of the lemurs who have to move in for the winter because it's just a little too cold for them, everybody else is still on exhibit. Even and most especially our brand new sloth bear Vicky, who is the granddaughter of Amy and Goof, who we lost in September. She's just amazing to see, so if you get the chance, make sure you come down to the zoo during the month of December and see what's going on. This is the second year we've done the Giving Tree and it was overwhelmingly successful last year. We were so grateful for all the people who chose to step up and support the zoo and um, donate what they donated. We had something like 30 pounds of produce and I can't even count how many toys and things that were donated for the animals last year. Uh, enrichment which is providing extra toys and activities for our animals is a very, very important part of animal health and animal husbandry. So uh, the Giving Tree is kind of based on receiving things that will help that program throughout the year. Not just produce, which of course helps at any time of year, but toys that we can use regardless of the weather and that can go from exhibit to exhibit rather than have to be specialized for a single animal. Although, of course, some toys do have to be specialized. But it's such a wonderful program. Uh, the animals get a lot back from it, and it's a, an amazing way to show community support to, to donate to the zoo in that way. And for those who do donate to the zoo, we do a special program in January, after the turn of the year, where we do an early morning program that features the enrichment that they donated. They get to make the enrichment and if possible, uh, give it to the animals themselves. It starts today and goes through the week of Christmas. You can drop off donations during the week of Christmas. Make sure to try to come out during the month of December. It's a great time to see the critters. They're, uh, everybody's still out. They're actually more active this time of year. A good time to see them and have a happy holiday. That's it for today's update. For AACS News, I'm Austin Ricketts.